All right, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Grayson McKinney for WD Sports. Alongside me is Noah Fort, and we are here live at Chartway Arena at the Ted Constant Convocation Center for ODU's home opener of this regular season as they look to take on St. Joseph's from the A-10. Obviously, there's a lot of differences of this team this season last year. Now, we made only lost three players, but two of the three were huge pieces in BJ Stiff and Ahmad Caver. Uh, we saw last year in the tournament, Xavier Green really kind of show himself as being the leading scorer and just the leader in general of this team. The question is, who's number two? Uh, that is something that we hopefully will find out maybe tonight or as the season goes on. Uh, but for now, it's time to play some basketball here at the Ted if we get set for the tip. It's going to be Lorenzo Edwards and Missouri Dickens tipping off. And Dickens does win the tip, and he gets it out to Malik Curry, one of the new faces here in an ODU uniform. Curry gets it over to Green, Green back up top to Carver. Carver, and according to Curry, he goes inside to Dickens, but it bounces off his foot, falls out of bounds, and it'll be our ball. Douglas will bring it up for the Owls. Douglas gets it over to Brown. Brown up top to Funk. He gets it up to Daly. Three-pointer. Okay. That is no good. Aaron right, Carver, Carver Brown. rebound. Carver rebounds in. He brings it up. Carver gets it up to Green. Green up top just outside the free throw line. He will take a three on the step back, but that is no good. Too strong on the front iron, and Douglas goes in the rebound for St. Joe's. He gets it up to Ryan Daly. Daly up top now. Back up to Douglas. Douglas gets it to Daly. He takes a three. That is no good. Both teams to get the basket. But Dezor Dickens swats away the second chance opportunity, and now Xavier Green will bring it back up for ODU. Green at the free throw line. He pulls up. That is no good. Too strong. Rebound by Funk. Now Douglas has it. Inside the free throw line, gets it outside to Funk. Now over in the corner to Brown. Daly drives baseline. He spins. Gets it outside to Funk. He misses another three. Second chance. Kick out three. That is good. Lorenzo Edwards. First points of this game. Just under 18 and a half to go in the first half. As Malik Curry will bring it up for ODU, who looking for their first basket. Curry has it on the block, gets it upside to X. Green. Marquis Scott in the corner, that's a shot, but he struck down the baseline and he turns it over. Funk will inbound to Douglas. Douglas will bring it up slowly for the Owls. He gets it. Back up to Funk, who feeds Daly up top. Daly's going to drive on Carver. He's going to go up, but he traveled. And now uh, Esmond Lee Curry brings it up for the Monarchs. Still looking for that first point of the game. He gets it up top to Carver. Carver back to Curry. Gets inside to Dickens. Dickens goes up on Douglas. Brings it down, but can't finish close to the rim, and Taylor Funk will bring it back up to the Owls, who quickly gets it over to Douglas. Douglas at the free throw line, goes up inside, layup no good off the grass, and Daly rattles the rebound from Joe Dickens, but he swats it back, and now Marquise Godwin wants to run. Godwin just inside the free throw line. Finds Billy Curry on the other side. Curry pump fakes, and his jumper good, and ODU finally gets the lid off the basket. Nice pump fake there by Malik Curry. Now Edwards gets it over to Douglas. Daly's going to drive back outside to Edwards. Second three point of the game, good for Lorenzo Edwards. Alright, Noah, so I just. Approaching five minutes, six, uh, five minutes into this half, and kind of what we've expected from this team. Uh, ODU is not a shooting team. They're very physical on defense. They're not going to allow anything inside. As Marquis Scott hits a three. 
So, so far, the New York Monarchs are the, the physical defense. What have you seen so far? What have you liked? What have you not liked? So far, I like returning, I believe he's sophomore junior to George Dickens. He's been looking pretty good with his defense this year. Last year, he didn't get much playing time, but it looks like this year he's going to be a breakout player. He's already got two blocks. Absolutely, the big man inside as Douglas, his jump shot is good to me. St. Joe's opens up a 5 for the lead so early on here at the Tech. Um, we talked about there's a couple new faces on this team. Um, obviously, Malik Curry got the start today. You look at Joe Weiss, we'll see him coming off the bench. Uh, Jalen Hunter, we'll see him check in tonight. How do you uh, think LH's new faces will kind of best the old faces? As Xavier Green nails a three, but tied up at eight. I think these new faces are really going to help us because it gives us a new look since we've lost BJ Stiff and Ahmad Cavers. Um, Jalen Hunter seems promising. I've seen him at basketball practice before. And speaking of losing two big names like BJ Stiff and Ahmad Caver, those are always our top two guys. You know, last year early in the season when BJ Stiff was really hot, Ahmad Caver didn't have to come out and score 20. And then towards the end of the season, we saw BJ kind of go through a little bit of a slump, but Caver really picked up that slack. Uh, this year, we know Green is going to get his buckets. Um, he, he's going to go for 15, 20, and um, So, but we really don't know who the second scorer is. Do you have anyone on our roster circled in particularly who you think could be the second scorer and kind of pick up that slack? Well, Marquise, Marquise can shoot from the three, but I think with Aaron Carver, he's a veteran. So with him returning and he's a team captain, I think he can really help us out. Gonzer Edwards hits his third three of the game, and St. Joe's opens up an 11-8 to eight lead with 15 minutes left to go here in the first half. Um, I think one of the biggest things that ODU has really tried to work on just as a program is their out-of-conference schedule. Um, you know, we're going to these big um, regular season tournaments. We're playing A-10 schools. We travel to VCU. Richmond comes here. Obviously, we're playing St. Joe's tonight. Um, and I really think it's just a step in the right direction for the CUSA as a whole. Um, we saw North Texas go to VCU on Friday. Uh, and I think moving forward, you would love to see this league become a two or three team um, kind of representative in the NCAA tournament. Because right now it seems to be you win the tournament, you go. Uh, CUSA teams don't really get at-large bids like a conference like the 18 would get. So I'm really loving just the tougher out-of-conference schedules that we're seeing around the entire conference, not just at ODU. I agree, I agree. Who do you think is going to have a breakout game tonight? Um, um, we saw Marquis Godwin hit a three, which I think it's just good for him to see. Um, he's been kind of struggling to find a shot recently, so maybe seeing that one go in will be good for him. Um, obviously, you talked about Aaron Carver being the uh, veteran. We saw Detroit Dickens maybe not break out offensively, but defensively had those couple big blocks. But uh, Kalu Azife just checked in for the Monarchs. And Kalu Azike and Jason Wade are two players who I think are going to take a big step this season. Um, and the Monarchs need them to. It can't just be held onto one player in Xavier Green. Uh, there's a lot of new names to look at. It's kind of hard to single out one player, so we'll kind of see how today goes and um, what this team does down the stretch. Sparky Godwin will inbound it to Malik Curry. Curry brings it up the floor. He's guarded by Rahir Moore, who's now after the out. Xavier Green has it up top, fights off there. Screen. And we will get another traveling violation. And at a Monarch turnover. Daily will bring it up for St. Joe's. Daily up top, he feeds inside to Edwards. Edwards had Kula Zikbe up on top of him and gets the foul. One of the special things about today is they unveiled the CUSA championship banner from last season. And one of the beautiful things about college basketball is it doesn't matter how much the team has changed, you're still preceded by teams before you. Brian Daly gets the floor to go. So obviously ODU are the defending champions of the conference, and that kind of maybe puts a target on their back. Yes, they don't have the two best players from last year, but 
uh, I really don't think that matters. Your name follows your kind of your reputation. So, or do you obviously looking to repeat what they did last year? And other teams in the conference are looking to dethrone them, regardless of how different the team is. I feel like you can do it again, especially with this new young core. Edwards really feeling it from behind the arc. He's in the fourth three of the game. Oh four for Lorenzo Edwards as St. Joe's is now doubling up the Monarchs 16 to 8. Curry now has it. He gets it up to Zippe up top. He takes a long jump, but no good. Too strong. And Daly is looking to run. Daly finds Edwards in the corner, but he gets it back over to Brown. And Brown travels. So this is kind of what ODU wants. ODU, you need to, ODU, excuse me, makes you beat them from behind the arc. Um, defensively inside with guys like Sword Dickens, Aaron Carver, Kalua Zikpe. Um, they really just try to push you out and make you work kind of outside in, so to say. Um, but St. Joe is really answering the call, especially with the Lindsay Edwards taking four threes to make so far. Marquis Godwin has it up top. He gets it over to Lily Curry. Curry drives. This guy is blocked. And rebound is hauled in by Daly. Daly's going to drive. Zero step goes off St. Joe's, and ODU will have it coming this way. Taylor Funk is checking back into the game. He takes the spot of Lorenzo Edwidge. We're also going to see My uh, Douglas, Miles Douglas, come back into the game. Number 12, Jalen Hunter, stepped in for number three, Malik Curry. He's bringing up the ball up the court. Happy small piece. Jason Wade. Green has it up top. Green looking outside to Carver. Carver. Spinning in on Daly, but layup still unable to fall. Monarchs struggling to get the ball into the basket today. They're finding some good looks, just Defense not converting them. Defense, Monarchs! Defense, Monarchs! Defense, Monarchs! Defense, Monarchs! Defense, Monarchs! Defense! It'll be not down into Daly. Defense, Monarchs! Defense, Daly gets it back on top of Knox. Who finds Funk, comes fakes, he spins inside, guarding by Carver. Good defense by Carver. He has to kick it up top to Moore. Now Douglas, he pulls up. That jumper, no good. Rebound, hauled in by Jason Wade, and he's going to run up the court. Jason Wade, guarded by Moore. Wade up top now, gets it over to Green. Green, guarded by Funk. He's going to drive, step back. Finds Marquise Godwin up top. 13 on the shot clock. Godwin pulls up. That jumper no good. But Aaron Carter able to fall, fall in the offensive rebound. And now Xavier Green. Foul. So what have you seen so far on offense from ODU? How they're moving around on the ball, off the ball. What kind of looks are they trying to get? Well, they've been using the screen a lot, which is very much helping them out. Xavier Green used the screen by Aaron Carver to get the and one. Now, ODU will see this first free throws of the game. Uh, an area of the game that they've struggled with over the past few years. Hopefully Green can capitalize. His free throw is up and good. He converts to and one, and ODU pulls to within five. Douglas will bring it up for the Owls. Douglas goes to the corner, but back up top to Funk. Going to drive, kick out in the corner, three-pointer. No good. Knox. It fires. Now Jalen Hunter. He drives and takes it. And one, Jalen Hunter. And we will get a timeout on the floor. ODU trailing this one, 16 to 13. But Jalen Hunter's and one free throw will. Look oh, at Jalen right Hunter, do you think he can be an all-freshman this year? Um, yeah, uh, I think it, obviously it matters of how much Coach Jones kind of relies on him. Uh, in the past, we haven't seen um, Jeff Jones play freshman very often. Um, so we've seen guys like Michael Hewitt Jr. transfer out schools. But last year, I think with Jason Wade, 
Coach Jones started showing more confidence in his freshman. And Jalen Hunter, as you mentioned, he looks really good in practice. He got a lot of minutes in the exhibition game against CNU, and he's in uh, in this one. So uh, we'll see. I, I think he has the potential to. Um, it's just a matter of how often he's on the floor and what he does with his time. this time out we will take a short break but you won't miss a minute of the action to put my experience into action turn my skills into enterprise innovate to learn on my terms to develop my own passions encouraged by my faculty supported by my campus make a difference in the world create my own traditions Old Dominion University. Your future success begins here. Our solution, preserving environments like this. And we're back. Jalen Hunter's free throw attempt taken with the N1. Xavier Green able to hit his free throw. See if Jalen Hunter can follow. Free throw up. And good. Jalen Hunter converts the end one. And ODU now within two. 16 to 14 on a 6 0 run right here. Funk gets it over to Moore. Back up top to Knox. Knox. That ball is poked away by Jason Wade. But he's able to regroup. And Funk pump fakes. Gets carved off his feet. But good defense there. Active hands in the lane. Forces a steal. And now Jalen Hunter will slow things down for ODU. Jalen Hunter out of the half court. He's guarded by Dennis Ashley. Three pointer, Xavier Green, no good. But Aaron Carver, with second chance points, draws the foul on Knox, and he will go to the line. So two free throws could potentially tie this one up. Something we've saw from the offseason is a lot of these Monarchs got bigger. Aaron Carver's first rebound, no good at the front rim. Um, DeJore Dickens, I think he he really bulked up over the uh, over the winter. And guys like Kula Zikbe and Xavier Green, who are already big, added more muscle. So they, uh, the Monarchs really put a lot of emphasis into the weight in this offseason. So we'll see if that shows on the floor tonight as Aaron Carver hits the free throw. Monarchs within one. Double team in the corner, but more able to draw the foul on Xavier Green. He doesn't like it. That was a pretty quick comeback from the Monarchs. They had an eight point deficit, now they're just down by one. In the midst of a 7 0 run. Long inbound pass over to Funk, opening it up, guided by Aaron Carver. You don't really see Aaron Carver. Uh, up top in the half court defending, but here we are. Douglas gets it over to Ashley. Ashley up top to Knox. He takes the three. That is good. Serene Knox. And Joe's really hitting their three point shots early today. So the bulk of their offense has come from Jason Wade. Xavier Green thought about the three, but he will bring it down. Loses the ball, but Jason Wade able to recover. Gets it over to Marquis Godwin. Godwin. Pull-up jumper, no good, too strong. Rebound on Xavier Green, kicks it back out to Jason Wade. Jason Wade, long cross-court pass to Jalen Hunter. He's going to drive. Hunter brings it down and gets it up top to Green. Green, he's going to drive, goes up with the right. That is no good. Rebound tip, no good by Carver. Goes back up with it, still can't find it. Long rebound with all the bounds, and it'll be Owl Ball. Number 22, Kalui Zipke comes in for number 13, Aaron Carver. Salim Knox will end on it for ADU, or uh, for uh, St. Joseph's, excuse me. And Moore will bring it up. Moore gets across half foot, gets it back over to Knox. Up top, Douglas. 
looking inside, finds Funk baseline, it goes up and comes down hard to the alley oop attempt. Now, Marcus Godwin finds Jason Wade on the perimeter. Wade jumps it out up top. Looking for an assist by screen, goes the other way. Jason Wade, drive, no good. Double Zikpe, able to clean up the mess, and his layup is good, and one. Really like me. Athleticism, ODU really needs to control the board on both ends of both ends of the floor. Take advantage of your second chance point. So we're seeing a lot of substitutions. Do you think this is going to be a trend we see throughout the entire season? Um, just many subs keep getting fresh guys in. I think so. It's a good idea too, so you don't have too many tired guys on the floor. Sick pace free throw, rattles around the rim and no good. Funk gets the rebound. ODU still trailing 17 to 19, under 10 to go here in the first half. Funk has it up top. Edwards tries to go inside to Daly and he is fouled. Green's second foul. We will see Joe Reese in the game. He takes the spot of Xavier Green. This is a key moment for ODU. With Green on the bench, your leading scorer, how are you going to find ways to score? Daly has it in the corner. He's guarded by Jason Wade. Up top to Edwards, takes a three, and it is good. Lorenzo Edwards still hot coming into the game. His fifth three of the game. Joe Reese gets it over to Marquise Godwin. Godwin. Finds Jalen Hunter up top. Hunter tries to look inside to a Zikbe, but that pass is stolen. And now Moore will bring it up. He finds Douglas. Douglas thought about the three, but he gets over to Moore. He drives, kick out in the corner. Edwards is going to drive baseline. His shot is blocked, but now Daly outside. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound to Zikbe. And that ball rattles out of bounds off of Moore. OD ball. It's the tail of tape right now is how do you keep Lorenzo Edwards off the perimeter? 5-3 so far. What do you think ODU needs to adjust to keep him from shooting these open looks? I think they need a double team. That's the only other option you have. How do you really struggling breaking out to the shooters? Jalen Hunter now has it. Draws the double team and finds Jason Wade. He takes a three. Jason Wade, really good. 20 to 22, eight and a half to go here in the first half. Funk has it now, he finds Daly. Daly up top's gonna drive at the free throw line, kicks it back out to Funk. Funk gets it to Douglas, Douglas is gonna drive down the middle, his up and under layup, good. Out of room down the middle, no help coming over for ODU. ODU will reset with Jalen Hunter. He's on the corner, but gets it up to Marquise, it's a Reese up top. Jason Wade's gonna drive from the free throw line, step back at the elbow, but he traveled. A lot of traveling violations here from both sides of the ball, really shuffling their feet on these step backs. And Edwards will inbound to Douglas. Douglas has it up top. Daly wanted it inside, but instead he gets it to Funk, and Funk nails a three. St. Joe is lighting it up from behind the arc so far tonight. Jalen Hunter up top. Joe Reese, he tries to three of his own, but that is no good, and Lorenzo Edwards hauls in the rebound. Douglas has it up top now. Gets it over to Funk. Funk dribbles around and finds Daly. Trying to drive. Daly with the left hand. Reverse. No good, but he draws the foul. So if you look at this going breakdown from St. Joe's, virtually everything that they're getting is coming from behind the arc. OD doing a good job not getting open looks inside the arc and not getting easy layups, not fouling, but they just need to find a way to they either need to wait for St. Joe's to cool off or they need to find out how to guard the perimeter. He's going to try to make as many free throws as he can in 30 seconds. Landry, every free throw you make, you get a $50 gift card. Let me make sure you heard this. Every free throw you make, you get a $50 gift card. 
take an extended timeout. OD trailing 20 to 27. We'll go to break and be right back with the action. Hockey and Biodiesel and Green Fertilizer. Visionary research at Old Dominion University is solving pressing challenges in healthcare, defense, renewable energy, the environment, and other critical fields. My solution? Keeping our environment and our economy healthy by working with shipping companies to prevent invasive species from entering our nation's waterways. Our solution? Treating cancer, healing wounds, and preventing disease by using bioelectric technologies. Partnerships with business, industry, and government in areas like modeling and simulation are creating new industries and thousands of jobs each year. Our solution, modeling traffic patterns to make hurricane evacuations safer and smoother. My solution, harnessing the power of cold plasma to create innovative tools for the medical community. Our R&D contributes nearly a billion dollars annually to the regional economy, enhancing the growth and vitality of our state and our nation. That's Idea Fusion. That's Old Dominion University. Here following a timeout, and Ryan Daly was tough to the free throw line for St. Joe's first attempt of the night. Yeah, the tail of the tape for St. Joseph's has been the three point shot as Ryan Daly hits free throw number one. They've already taken 12 and they've hit seven, shooting the three point at 58%. Uh, ODU shot 50%, 3 for 6, but just can't keep up with St. Joe's. Second free throw daily, no good. Rebound falls into the hands of St. Joe's. Now Edwards takes another 3 and hits it. 6 for 6. Narenzo Edwards looks like he's in shoot around. Joe Reese finds Jalen Hunter in the corner. Hunter's going to drive. Little hesitation. Nice hard layup by Jalen Hunter. Daly will bring it up for St. Joe's now. Daly still has it. He's going to try to drive baseline. Goes cross court. Three pointer. Good by Emlyn Brown. St. Joe's is just hitting everything they're looking at. With all these threes they're making, it seems ODU didn't pay attention to the scouting. Yeah. Yeah. Already nine threes in this game. Yeah. Zikpe has it inside. He draws a double team. Yeah. Zikpe gets it out to Joe Reese. Reese, tough layup, no good, but he draws the foul. So Xavier Green still sitting on the bench with those two fouls. ODU struggling to score since he's gone out of this game. Zora Dickens and Aaron Carver set to check in. First free throw, no good. Second free throw for Joe Reese. No good off the back iron. Daly with the rebound. Funk has it up top and he traveled. Xavier Green leading their way, scoring with ODU with six. But as he continues to sit on the bench with two fouls, someone else is going to need to step up. ODU shooting three for six from behind the arc at 50%, but only eight for 25, 32% from the field. Not much falling to Curry has it up top. Finds Jason Wade in the corner. Corner's going to drive baseline. Draws the foul on Knox. Knox 
second foul on Knox. Only the sixth team foul. Dickens has it up top. He gets it over to Carver. Carver looking for someone. Finally gets it over to Curry. Godwin takes a three. That is good. Marquise Godwin, second three of the night. ODU back to within single digits, 34-25. ODU able to hit the three pointers. There's not much off falling for them. Daly has it. He's going to drive. Daly up with the right hand. That is blocked. Malik Curry doesn't care if he's a guard. He'll go up and block it. Godwin has it up top. Gets it over to Curry. Jason Wade on the baseline. He's going to drive. Layup no good, but Aaron Carver had the rebound and lost it. And then it goes out of bounds off of Aaron Carver. St. Joe's will take over. Are you just not able to convert these? Good looks, you know, we're getting inside, getting layups, getting trying to get second chance points, but not much falling for them. Burns are ever already with 18 points coming off six threes. No one else for St. Joe's has more than five, uh, more than four, but doesn't matter when Burns are ever just playing the way he is. Moore has it. He's going to try. Way up. Way too strong. But rebound. Kicks out to Funk, who takes a three. And that is good. Taylor Funk joining in for the three point brigade. Lead back up to 12, 37 25. He's already got 18 points in the first quarter. Jason Wade puts it up top. ODU struggling. Offensive foul. It looks like it's going to be caught on Aaron Carver. ODU struggling to score ever since Green was sat on the bench. And that's kind of what we are afraid of. They say your Green's your leading scorer without him on the floor. No one else has really stepped up. But now Taylor Funk has it up top for the Owls. Gets it over to Edwards in the corner to Brown. Brown tries to get inside, but that is stolen. Jason Wade, he's going to bring it up all by himself. Inside look, Dickens tries to throw it down, but throws it out of bounds instead. Cool as Zikbe takes the spot of Dickens. Troy Dickens offensively struggling here and the going inside. Now Moore. That pass Aaron nearly stolen in the backcourt. And we will get another timeout with only 3.51 to go here in the first half. ODU trailing 25-37. So even though Jalen or Lorenzo Edwards has hit six threes, the rest of St. Joe's is hitting theirs as well. The rest of the team is four for nine from behind the yard. So when it's multiple guys booting from behind the yard, what kind of adjustments defensively team make need to make as an entire team to guard the perimeter? I think instead of playing in man, they need to go into zone. Probably a two three. No moat. Actually, no, a 3-2 because you can stop them more at the top because you have more men at the top than you have at the bottom. Especially when you have guys inside like Aaron Carver, Zoe Dickens, or Kalua Zekpe. I think you're right. You can, I think you need to trust those two big guys inside to guard the paint and have, have the three guards up top and the one forward maybe. Especially with DeJore's length. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's been, we've seen that today with two quick blocks early on. We're still waiting for St. Joe's to cool off. Maybe they will after the break. We'll take a short one. We'll be right back following the timeout. Hey guys, my name is Naya. I'm a criminal justice and political science major from Hampton, Virginia. My name is Zach. I'm a junior studying business administration. 
from Warrington, Virginia, and we're out and about in Norfolk showing you the Hampton Roads area. Right now, we're in front of the Chrysler Museum of Arts. Believe me, there's plenty of things to do here in Norfolk and in the Hampton Roads area. Oh, absolutely. In my free time, I like to go out and check out the Hoffler Creek Wildlife Park and take a hike, or maybe go to the boardwalk down in Virginia Beach, and go down to Ghent area and check out the movie The Narrow. Or you can go see a concert at the Norva. But for me, I like to go shopping, so I'll visit the various... All right, we're back here at Chartway Arena. ODU trailing much fair, but they have the ball with under four minutes left to go here in the first half. Ball gets tipped out of bounds by St. Joe's ODU routine with 25 on the shot clock. Still no Xavier Green on the bench with those two fouls. Jalen Hunter into the game. Marquis Godwin will inbound. Godwin gets it up top to Hunter. Hunter guarded by Daly. Daly finds Marquis Godwin, 6 to 3. At Rattles around the win, but falls short. Daly with the rebound brings it up, finds Douglas. Douglas loses the ball on the drive, but gets it back. Outside the ground, he gets it back to Douglas, takes a jumper inside the three point line. No good, rebound is it there. Kulo Zikbe, bounce pass over Jalen Hunter. Inside, Aaron Carver tried to stand it down, no good. Rebound, but Kulo Zikbe hammers it down with the right hand. He says, I got your back, AC. Douglas now. Gets it over to Daly. Um, that feeds it back to Daly off the screen. Daly's trying to spin, but nowhere to go. Gets back out to Funk. Now, a three pointer. No good. Lorenzo Edwards finally misses. Maybe that's a good sign for the rest of the way. Jalen Hunter up top to Marquise Godwin. Godwin. Hands off to Jason Wade. Jason Wade's going to drive on Douglas. Now kicks it outside. Jalen Hunter wide open. Three up. No good. ODU down by 10. Approaching two minutes left to go here in the first half. ODU only shooting 30% from the field. Ryan Daly's three pointer. No good. Daly scored 26 in the opening game, but struggled to find anything as he says to a three tonight. Marquise Godwin into the corner for Jason Wade. Jason Wade off the Aaron Carver screen. Corner of Zikbe, and Becky might have pushed off. And now Daly will bring it back up for St. Joseph. Brown, no good, rebounded by Zikbe, gets it over to Jalen Hunter. Marquise Godwin has it in the corner, finds it Zikbe inside, as Zikbe guarded closely by Edwards, turn around. Jumper no good, but he'll go to the line. Second foul on the Windsor Edwards will send the Zip Bay to the line. Elsewhere on the CUSA, Marshall currently trailing Toledo 55-34 at halftime. UTSA will take on Delaware at 3.30, and Rice will take on Wayland Baptist Church. First free throw by Zip Bay, up and good. Zekpe, second free throw attempt. On its way, and that is good. Zekpe knocks down the pair, ODU back to within eight. ODU, see if they can close out this half and cut into this lead. And it's 
turnover. I see what the call is. I see what's going on. It looks like a double kick. Double foul. So it's a double foul on the Zick Pay. And, and then Taylor Funk with the other foul. Didn't really see what happened. I saw Taylor Funk in the corner with no one near him. Both teams in the bonus now. Put the rest of the way. Only a minute 20 left to go here in the first half. This would be a tough game, especially against a school like St. Joe's. And they are showing why. Off the head is from 37-29. Approaching the end of the first half. Daly and Dodgers with Funk. He gets it quickly back to Daly. He's going to drive baseline. A rush there, but the left no good. Offensive rebound, though. Called in by Moore, and he's fouled on the way up. Kulozeka picks up his third, so Joe Reese will check in for him. The thing about the shooting for odds by St. Joe's is we haven't seen it yet. In their opening game against Bradley, they only shot 19.4%, 6 for 31. So I don't know what they did in between that game and tonight, but they're really starting to find themselves behind the arc. More at the free throw line. And in their opening game against Bradley, the Windsor Edwards was 0 for 6 from behind the arc. I did this one six. Three for four more. Up and no good. Taylor Funk is spelled by Knox for St. Joseph's. And as I said before, Joe Reese comes in for Cool Zicker. Second free throw by Moore. Is up and good. St. Joe is up by nine now. 38 29, 1 15 left to go in the first half. Jalen Hunter, a lot of time on the floor for the freshman. Jalen Hunter still has it up top. He finds Marquis Goddard, who takes a three in a corner. That is good. I think that might be a spot in the corner. Marquis Goddard hitting his third three of the half. Only a six point game now, 32 38. Under a minute left to go here in the first half. Daly has it up top. Puts it over to Moore. Moore off the ball with screen finds Daly. He's going to try to drive, but there's no one there. He has to find on the baseline. Driving Douglas. He just can't finish the layup. Daly now has it. Takes it himself. Hook shot with the right. Oh! Aaron Parker. The put back slam brings over here with the four. The crowd here loves it. Seconds left to go, shot clock turned off. Everyone on their feet here at the 10. ODU trailing by four. Daly, that's the clock right now. He finds Brown and gets it into the corner. That three pointer, no third by Knox. ODU with a rebound. Daly Hunter heaving at half court. No third off the backboard. But nice way for ODU to close out the half as they start by 12 with under three to go. And now they're only down by four going into the locker room. So to kind of look at positives from the first half, St. Joseph's had an incredible shooting half from behind the yard. And you gotta think that's pretty maybe in un, it's they might not be as consistent in the second half if they shot 10 for 18 from behind the yard. Bowens or others are six for seven themselves. You don't see that continuing over the stretch of a game. And even though ODU just shot 34%, they were five for ten behind the yard. 
and they only trail by four. With Xavier Green sitting on the bench almost the entire last eight minutes of the half. So uh, hopefully Green can stay out of foul trouble. Um, and we uh, this game stays close throughout the way. Uh, we have a good one so far here at the Tri-Class Communication Center in Charlotte Way Arena. Um, we will take an extended break for halftime, but we'll be back for the second half. Hey guys, my name is Naya. I'm a criminal justice and political science major from Hampton, Virginia. My name is Zach. I'm a junior studying business administration from Warrington, Virginia, and we're out and about in Norfolk showing you the Hampton Road area. Right now, we're in front of the Chrysler Museum of Arts. Believe me, there's plenty of things to do here in Norfolk and in the Hampton Roads area. Oh, absolutely. In my free time, I like to go out and check out the Hoffa Creek Wildlife Park and take a hike, or maybe go to the boardwalk down at Virginia Beach, and go down to Ginn area and check out the movie at the Narrow. Or you can go see a concert at the Norva. But for me, I like to go shopping, so I'll visit the various malls, maybe MacArthur or Granby Street. And on a beautiful day like today, I like to go out and check out the Norfolk Zoo, because ODU students get in for free. Or maybe head out to Bush Gardens in the Colonial Williamsburg area. Yeah, I like Jamestown, Yorktown. So we hope to see you around. Thank you for stopping by. experience into action. Turn my skills into enterprise. Innovate. To learn on my terms. To develop my own passions. Encouraged by my faculty. Supported by my campus. Make a difference in the world. Create my own traditions. Old Dominion University. Your future success begins here. Our solution, preserving environments like this and creating energy alternatives by turning algae into biodiesel and green fertilizer. Visionary research at Old Dominion University is solving pressing challenges in healthcare, defense, renewable energy, the environment, and other critical fields. My solution, keeping our environment and our economy healthy by working with shipping companies to prevent invasive species from entering our nation's waterways. Our solution, treating cancer, healing wounds, and preventing disease by using bioelectric technologies. Partnerships with business, industry, and government in areas like modeling and simulation are creating new industries and thousands of jobs each year. Our solution, modeling traffic patterns to make hurricane evacuations safer and smoother. My solution, harnessing the power of cold plasma to create innovative tools for the medical community. Our R&D contributes nearly a billion dollars annually to the regional economy, enhancing the growth and vitality of our state and our nation. That's Idea Fusion. That's Old Dominion University. from Hampton, Virginia. My name is Zach. I'm a junior studying business administration from Warrington, Virginia, and we're out and about in Norfolk showing you the Hampton Road area. Right now, we're in front of the Chrysler Museum of Arts. Believe me, there's plenty of things to do here in Norfolk and in the Hampton Roads area. Oh, absolutely. In my free time, I like to go out and check out the Hoffa Creek Wildlife Park and take a hike, or maybe go to the boardwalk down at Virginia Beach, and go down to Ginn area and check out the movie at the Narrow. Or you can go see a concert at the Norva. But for me, I like to go shopping, so I'll visit the various malls, maybe MacArthur or Granby Street. And on a beautiful day like today, I like to go out and check out the Norfolk Zoo, because ODU students get in for free. Or maybe head out to Bush Gardens in the Colonial Williamsburg area. Yeah, I like Jamestown, Yorktown. 
So we hope to see you around. Thank you for stopping by. I need a place that gets me. Where I come from. Where I'm heading. To put my experience into action. Turn my skills into enterprise. Innovate. To learn on my terms. To develop my own passions. Encouraged by my faculty. Supported by my campus. Make a difference in the world. Create my own traditions. Old Dominion University. Your future success begins here. Our solution, preserving environments like this, and creating energy alternatives by turning algae into biodiesel and green fertilizer. Visionary research at Old Dominion University is solving pressing challenges in healthcare, defense, renewable energy, the environment, and other critical fields. My solution, keeping our environment and our economy healthy by working with shipping companies to prevent invasive species from entering our nation's waterways. Our solution, treating cancer, healing wounds, and preventing disease by using bioelectric technologies. Partnerships with business, industry, and government in areas like modeling and simulation are creating new industries and thousands of jobs each year. Our solution, modeling traffic patterns to make hurricane evacuations safer and smoother. My solution, harnessing the power of cold plasma to create innovative tools for the medical community. Our R&D contributes nearly a billion dollars annually to the regional economy, enhancing the growth and vitality of our state and our nation. That's Idea Fusion. That's Old Dominion University. from Hampton, Virginia. My name is Zach. I'm a junior studying business administration from Warrington, Virginia, and we're out and about in Norfolk showing you the Hampton Road area. Right now, we're in front of the Chrysler Museum of Arts. Believe me, there's plenty of things to do here in Norfolk and in the Hampton Roads area. Oh, absolutely. In my free time, I like to go out and check out the Hoffler Creek Wildlife Park and take a hike, or maybe go to the boardwalk down at Virginia Beach, and go down to Ginn area and check out the movie at the Narrow. Or you can go see a concert at the Norva. But for me, I like to go shopping, so I'll visit the various malls, maybe MacArthur or Granby Street. And on a beautiful day like today, I like to go out and check out the Norfolk Zoo, because ODU students get in for free. Or maybe head out to Bush Gardens in the Colonial Williamsburg area. Yeah, I like Jamestown, Yorktown. So we hope to see you around. Thank you for stopping by. experience into action. Turn my skills into enterprise. Innovate. To learn on my terms. To develop my own passions. Encouraged by my faculty. Supported by my campus. Make a difference in the world. Create my own traditions. Old Dominion University. Your future success begins here. Our solution, preserving environments like this, and creating energy alternatives by turning algae into biodiesel and green fertilizer. Visionary research at Old Dominion University is solving pressing challenges in healthcare, defense, renewable energy, the environment, and other critical fields. My solution, keeping our environment and our economy healthy by working with shipping companies to prevent invasive species from entering our nation's waterways. Our solution, treating cancer, healing wounds, and preventing disease by using bioelectric technologies. 
Partnerships with business, industry, and government in areas like modeling and simulation are creating new industries and thousands of jobs each year. Our solution, modeling traffic patterns to make hurricane evacuations safer and smoother. My solution, harnessing the power of cold plasma to create innovative tools for the medical community. Our R&D contributes nearly a billion dollars annually to the regional economy, enhancing the growth and vitality of our state and our nation. That's Idea Fusion. That's Old Dominion University. I'm a junior studying business administration from Warrington, Virginia, and we're out and about in Norfolk showing you the Hampton Roads area. Right now, we're in front of the Chrysler Museum of Arts. Believe me, there's plenty of things to do here in Norfolk and in the Hampton Roads area. Oh, absolutely. In my free time, I like to go out and check out the Hoffa Creek Wildlife Park and take a hike, or maybe go to the boardwalk down at Virginia Beach, and go down to the Ginn area and check out the movie The Narrow. Or you can go see a concert at the Norva. But for me, I like to go shopping, so I'll visit the various malls, maybe MacArthur or Granby Street. And on a beautiful day like today, I like to go out and check out the Norfolk Zoo, because ODU students get in for free. Or maybe head out to Bush Gardens in the Colonial Williamsburg area. Yeah, I like Jamestown and Yorktown. So we hope to see you around. Thank you for stopping by. experience into action. Turn my skills into enterprise. Innovate. To learn on my terms. To develop my own passions. Encouraged by my faculty. Supported by my campus. Make a difference in the world. Create my own traditions. Old Dominion University. Your future success begins here. Our solution, preserving environments like this and creating energy alternatives by turning algae into biodiesel and green fertilizer. Visionary research at Old Dominion University is solving pressing challenges in healthcare, defense, renewable energy, the environment, and critical fields. My solution, keeping our environment and our economy healthy by working with shipping companies to prevent invasive species from entering our nation's waterways. Our solution, treating cancer, healing wounds, and preventing disease by using bioelectric technologies. Partnerships with business, industry, and government in areas like modeling and simulation are creating new industries and thousands of jobs each year. Back here at Chartway Arena in the Ted Concert Convocation Center, ODU trailing St. Joe's 34 to 38. But when you look at St. Joseph, they shot 10 for 19 from three pointer, um, from three, and to trail only four, as ODU shot 34.3 percent from the field in the first half, you would take that. Uh, ODU also had success behind the arc as they were five for 10. Uh, even 50% Marquis got and looks like he's found his shot a little bit. Three for four, so a really good start for him, and that's good to see since he's been struggling recently. Um, Obi doing a great job defensively inside. Uh, St. Joe's is only shooting 38.2%, 13 for 35 from the field. But 10 of those 13 shots are three pointers. So uh, obviously, Obi has to work on defending the perimeter and maybe move to a different zone and just close out on shooters more and make them uncomfortable because most of the looks that St. Joe's has gotten have been pretty open, pretty comfortable. They've been really good looks, nothing really contested on the perimeter so far. 
Um, but ODU will start the half with looks like the different lineup from the starting the first half. We got Jason Wade, Marquis Scott wins. Xavier Green, Aaron Carver, and Malik Curry. Xavier Green sat a lot of the first half as he was on the bench with two fouls early. And up until Marquise Godwin hit his 33, he was the leading scorer. Kalu has six points. Green only has six points, but Marquise Godwin has nine of those three threes. So we'll see what kind of adjustments Coach Joan took the team in the locker room and how they can overcome this four points. But right off the bat, Traveling violation, there it is again. We saw a lot of them in the first half. Ryan Daly this time shuffled his feet a little too much and turned over on the opening possession. Gives O.D. the ball. Ori Curry will bring it up. Curry has it up top guarded by Daly. Curry finds Green. Green with a crossover. Spins at the free throw line. Gets it out to Marquise Godwin. Pump takes the three. Takes a step aside. Long two, way short, and goes out of bounds. Marcus Godden trying to do a little bit too much to create his own shot. Plenty of time in the shot clock, he can look for something better. But, Shooter's got to shoot. Now Douglas brings it up for St. Joe's, gets it up top to Funk. Funk finds Edwards in the corner, a wide open three. He's going to hit that, he's hit it all game. You have to keep an eye on him. He's hit seven threes in this game. Malik Curry gets it up top to Green. Thought about the three, but brings it back down. And looks like we get a foul off the ball somewhere. Fouls on Brown, his first of the game and the first of the team for this half. Green pull-up jumper is good. That's one of his strengths. He can create a shot. He can pull up from anywhere on the floor, and if he can get up high enough, he'll shoot over you. Monarch still trailing by four in this one. Funk backing down Aaron Carver. There's a double team, and Marquis Scott with the help to lodge the Jump ball, and that'll be ODU's ball. Nice job there by Marquis Godden. They would come in with their help and get the jump ball. Lonzo Edwards' previous three was actually a long two, so that's why it's still a four-point game. Lee Curry bringing it up for ODU. We saw him a lot in the first half, and then they went to Jalen Hunter. He went finished with the second half, but... Aaron Carver going up, and he is fouled, so we'll see him go to the line. Aaron Carver. First attempt. On its way. And no good. Short. Aaron Carver's second free throw. It's up, on its way, and good. ODU, one possessing game now, trailing 37 to 40. Still early in the second half, 18 and a half to go. Douglas has it up top now. He's got it by Gatto, and he's going to drive baseline. Go up with the right, lay up no good. Rebound, Aaron Carver. Carver gets it over to Jason Wade. Jason Lee finds Ricky Scotton. Three, eight, five, good. ODU comes back from a 12 point deficit to tie it up at 40. Ricky Scotton is showing he can shoot four on the night. And St. Joe's wants a timeout. The crowd is really starting to get into it here. back from a 12 point deficit to tie it up and it's been in part mostly for that three point shooting. Um, similarly to St. Joe's, ODU has struggled from the field other than behind the arc. How do you like what you're seeing right now compared to the first half? 
Uh, this is really good energy. They're continuing to defend inside and they're forcing turnovers. Um, we saw the traveling turnover in the opening possession. They're guarding um, the rim really nicely, getting rebounds, getting out in transition. Um, so ODU is playing ODU ball. Um, hopefully they can continue to guard the perimeter and the, or continue to guard the inside as they make adjustments to hopefully guard the perimeter. Um, you don't want to, you know, too good at one if you're going to do that at the other. So, I really like the energy they're playing with. Another key factor is they're hitting a shot by Marshall Scott when they hit the three. Absolutely, and uh, he got hit in stride on transition, and when he's on, he's going to hit that shot every day. So, they're heading back out to the floor now, and maybe Marshall Scott is going to come out and be that second score, especially if he shoots the way he has been tonight. I feel like he can be a breakout player this season, especially since he's coming off that ankle injury. He's had to practice a lot over the summer. And that's what we saw last year. By the whole ankle injury, he was really starting to kind of emerge as being a leading scorer. We saw him uh, handling the ball more, really working a fast break. That ankle injury really derailed his progress. So when he came back after that, he wasn't really the same. But uh, ankle looks good now, and hopefully he's on the right track to being that second scorer that ODU needs. Leading away for the Monarchs tonight with 12, only Monarch on double digits. Ronja Edwards still leading the way with 20. He is the only Owl in double digits. So, St. Joseph's having the same issue as ODU. They can't have another back score. Ryan Daly will inbound it for the Owl. Gets it up top to Brown. Brown back over to Daly. Daly's going to drive. There's a double team by Malik Curry. Alters the layup. And then we'll get another foul on the rebound by St. Joe's. Over to ball. Chance to take the lead here for the first time tonight. One thing I can say about this half is, about this half is that ODU has become more aggressive. Absolutely, I agree. Especially on defense. They're really drawing double teams. And maybe a little too aggressive as Malik Curry goes for the drive and gets hit with a charge. But on the defensive end, you're right. You've seen a lot more double teams, a lot of help defense, and they're really getting physical inside. Lorenzo Edwards will inbound for St. Joseph's following the foul. And that rebound is tipped away by Jason Wade. Nice heads up play there, but St. Joseph's will retain possession. Ryan Daly coming back up for St. Joseph's. Back up top to front. Over to Moore. Moore's going to drive, but there's three white jerseys in his way. Goes up and comes down hard, and looks like Aaron Carver will get hit with the foul. Moore will go to the free throw line. Here, throw up and no so tied up at 40 here, 18 minutes to go here in the second half. Second free throw for Moore. That one's good. Sanchez grabs a one point lead. Are you? Can take the first lead of the game with the basket here. Malik Curry will bring it up to the Monarchs. Finds Jason Wade who gets up top to Marquise Godwin. Godwin over to Xavier Green. Green back up top to Curry. He's going to set something up. He's guarded by Funk. Gets it over to Carter. He's going to try to drive baseline. Good luck for Xavier Green. Goes up at the elbow. No good, but he draws the foul. If there's anything we learned about Xavier Green last year in the tournament, he could score a lot of points in a hurry. If he gets going, that could be a bad thing for opposing defenses. Xavier Green with two shots, chance to give it to the lead. First free throw is up and good, tied up at 31, as we will see Knox check into the game for St. Joseph's. He will take the spot of the Funk. Go, 
Xavier Green, second free throw is up on its way. And that rattles out the rim. Still tied up here at 41, but going by Jason Wade. Jason Wade deals the ball at the rebound and gets it to Xavier Green. His little floater from the free throw line is no good. Rebound to back to Xavier Green. Still can't find a hoop. Two good lifts for Green, but none are able to fall. Daly will set up for St. Joseph's. He's guarded closely by Green. Knocks out, has it. He goes up. No good. Rebound batted around, but Jason Wade comes up with it, and he is running. Jason Wade kicks out to Marquis Goddard, and that three point is no good halfway down. But rebound is hauled in by ODU, and there's a foul, it looks like. Foul going to be on the Windsor Edwards, number 21. His fourth foul. That's big for the Windsor Redbirds. As their leading scorer here, 20 points will come out the floor. And Aaron Carver hits the dunk off the inbound, and ODU has its first lead of the night 43 41. 16 and a half to go here. St. Joe's has an answer with a Cameron Brown three, but that is no good, and Xavier Green follows up. Crowd really getting into it. Xavier Green, his layup no good. Put back by Carver is also no good. Daly brings it up now. Daly kicks out. Douglas back up top to Knox. He takes a three, and that is no good. Marcus Goddard with the rebound. Goddard finds Jason Wade. Jason Wade with the step back. But gets back up to Garfield Godwin. Godwin up top to Curry. Curry to Godwin. Godwin back to Wade. Wade over to Green. He is guarded by Brown up top. Ten on the shot clock now for Green. Nice bounce pass inside to Jason Wade. Goes up with the right. Layup no good, but he's able to get the offensive rebound and draw a foul. He'll go to the line to extend this lead. And he will get a timeout on the floor. So... It looks like Lewins or Edwards will hit the one shot in the second half, and now he's going to be on the bench for an extended period of time with those four fouls, and St. Joe's has not been able to find that second score. Um, what have you kind of seen just from ODU's perspective, how they've adjusted this second half compared to the first half? I feel like coaches told them something in the locker room because they're doing way better. Like they said, they're being very aggressive now, crashing the boards, getting defensive rebounds, and putting up shots on the offensive side. And ODU has hasn't really weighed that shooting percentage much. They're shooting 35%, basically, 15 for 44, but still 50% from three at 6 for 12. Currently outscoring St. Joe's in the second half, 9 to 3. St. Joe's is only able to amount three points in the second half so far. And I think this is a really telling game for ODU. It's a close game. Both teams are shooting poorly. Uh, especially Xavier Green, he's only 3 for 9 from the field, 1 for 2 from 3 with 9 points. And normally if you see that in the box score, you think, oh no. But Marquis Godwin's entered the call. He's 4 for 11 from the field, but all 4 of the shots have been 3s. And ODU is shooting 7 for 13 from the free throw line, right at 54 for 6. But, you know, you'd like to see that percentage higher, but getting to the line 13 times compared to only 6 by St. Joe's. They have the advantage in that category as well. And Aaron Carter, a monster on the board tonight. 13 rebounds, 6 on the offensive end, and 7 on the defensive end. ODU out rebounding St. Joe's, 33 to 27. And they're out, re off, they're out rebounding them on the offensive side, 12 to 7. 21 to 20 on the defensive side. So that was one of the keys to the game. Control the boards on both ends of the floor. And that's what ODU has done tonight. Even though they haven't been able to convert on many second chance opportunities, they're extending the possessions. And it has to start somewhere. Jason Wade will go to the line. His first free throw is up. Box it on the end. But good. Lead remains 2, 41 33. St. 
Second free throw for Jason Wade is no good. St. Joy's already up to six fouls here in the second half. That's the next one. I'll put ODU in the box. Maxwell try to drive this time. He spins on Green. Little layup. Good look, but uh, with a fall as AJ Green pushes up for the Monarchs. Green switches to the left, and he steps back to about the top of the three, three point line and gets it to Millie Curry. He will set up the play. Maybe Curry off the two is a nice screen. Steps back, little stutter step. And with the left, nice look up and under. No good, but he draws the foul. He will go to the line for two, and that's 17th foul for JBU and the one and one bonus. Ali Curry getting his first look at the free throw line tonight. Left-handed shot from Curry, up and good. ODU opening up its large lead of the night tonight at three. Malik Curry, second free throw is up and good. 45-41 now for ODU. Douglas brings it up now for St. Joseph. He gets it over to Knox. Knox finds. Three up top for Daly, no good. He's strong, rebound. Malik Curry had it, but he loses it. And Tyler Freeman now in the game. He's taking his first minutes. And that is called for St. Joseph is in the corner fighting for a rebound. Four white jerseys were able to get a steal, and now ODU will inbound as the ball goes out of bounds on the opposite side. Marquis Godwin inbounds to Malik Curry. Let's go, line! Line! Go, line! Looks like we'll get a foul inside. And Tyler Freeman with the foul. That will send Marquis Godwin to the line for the one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Uh, Kalua Zikpe, excuse me. Jalen Hunter set in to check in for Malik Curry. That's kind of what we saw last half. Malik Curry played a lot of the first part of the half. Once Jalen Hunter checked in, he really finished it out. So we'll see if Coach Jones goes with the same look this half. Kluwa Zikbe finding the one and one is good. Five point lead for you now, 46 to 41. ODU. And an 11 to 1 run. Second free throw for Kalu is up and good. Now Douglas brings it up for St. Joseph's. Douglas guarded by Marquise Godwin, drives to his right, gets it over to Daly. Daly over but Funk finds Douglas. Douglas set the free throw and he made it has to kick it out. Moore, who drives and goes up, but it is fouled from Kalua Zikbe. So. Moore will head to the line. He is two for four from the line tonight. Still on with three for six for the team. Three for by Moore, that's up, and good. Lead back down to five now, 47-42. 13-56 to go here at the Ted. Curry off the cover screen at the top. 
Tyler gets it over to Godwin. Godwin takes a long three. That is no good. Looks like ODU able to get the offensive rebound, but they stepped on the baseline. Joe's picking up. And offensive foul. Oh, no, foul probably for Jeff Jones, maybe. A technical? Jeff oh. Jones having words. Lead is now only three. Crossover finds Brown in the corner for a three. That's good. And just like that, the game is tied. 37. 7 0 run here for St. Joseph's. Ali Curry on the right side. Gets it for Xavier Green up top. Green looking for someone inside. And gets it. He puts on a little dribble inside. Pull up jumper. No good. Rebound daily. Now uh, St. Joe's looking to take the lead back, but the ball is nearly stolen inside the Douglas. And Eric Harvin swats that one away. Big night for Aaron Carver defensively. 13 rebounds, I said before. Picks up a block. Daly will end on it with 23 on the shot clock. Daly finds Funk in the corner, who takes a three. That is no good. Long rebound. Oh, taking Douglas to the ground for that rebound. Curry now outside to Wade. In the Three-pointers, eight and three. It's good. Wilds back on top, 50 to 47. And St. Joseph will take a timeout as OD takes the lead, and we'll take one, too. But we'll be right back. 1239 left to go in the second half. ODU up on top, 50 to 47. My solution, harnessing the power of cold plasma to create innovative tools for the medical community. Our R&D contributes nearly a billion dollars annually to the regional economy, enhancing the growth and vitality of our state and our nation. That's Idea Fusion. That's Old Dominion University. And we're back at St. Joe's bringing it all up. Daly has it. He kicks outside to Douglas. Takes a three. That is no good. Aaron Carver. Chris New got a rebound. And now Malik Curry will bring it up for the Monarchs. Curry is going to take it himself with the right hand. Rebound is no good, but Aaron Carver cleans it up. ODU back up by five now as Daly spins. Looking for help, they have a double team that draws the foul on Aaron Carver. It up top now. He finds Brown in the corner. That three is no good. Too strong. Rebound Marquis Godwin. Godwin gets it over to Curry who will bring it up. Curry up top guarded by Cameron Brown. 
Five Scott in the corner. Takes a step inside. Pull up jumper. No good. Rebound. Douglas. Douglas finds Funk. Thought about the long three, but brings it back down. Knox on the baseline. Lee Curry tried to draw the foul, but Knox able to get up with over him and put down the two. Lee Curry now with ODU up by three. Approaching the 11 minute mark to go in the second half. Finds Xavier Green up top. Green gets it to Marquis Godwin. That running jumper is no good. Marquis Godwin. Unable to hit his last couple shots. Moore gets it over to from Brown. And Moore's running layup is good. One point game now. Malik Curry bringing it back up for ODU. Curry's on the left side, looking for someone up top, can't find anyone. Finally gets to Jason Wade in the corner. Jason Wayne, pull up jumper, no good. ODU taking some pretty questionable jump shots in the last few possessions. Gotta do what works best for you. Move the ball, find the open look. Knox's pull up shot, it's no good. Rebound Aaron Carver, who gets it over to Malik Curry. Looks like Coach Jones, at least for now, is going with Curry over 100 down the stretch. But Xavier Green has it now up top. Oh, triple behind the back. Pull up floater. That's not a limb. No good. Rebound on the ground. A lot of bodies together, and we'll see what they call. So it might have been a jump ball waiting for confirmation. The second half has been just games of runs. Uh, we saw ODU open up the half with a big run, take the lead. St. Joe's came back to tie it up. ODU opened up another five-point lead, and now we stand at 52-51 as St. Joseph's is, is on uh, one of their own. What do you think is happening with those shots? We won a good run earlier, and now everything's just rattling out of the room. Yeah, and Eddie, you're taking some questionable shots. Um, a couple like deep pull-ups or deep runners, and you just have to run your offense, continue to move the ball, uh, and move off the ball to find an open look. But it looks like St. Joseph's has cooled down from behind the arc. Or they haven't taken as many shots from behind the arc as they did in the first half. But St. Joseph's in the first half was 10 for 19, and now they're... Uh, 11 through 27. So, I think Edwards' four fouls really made a difference because he hasn't been on the floor since then. Absolutely. And he's their main shooter. One for eight from behind the yard in the second half for St. Joseph's. Heading back out on the floor now. Oh, oh, ODU holding on to a one point lead, but St. Joe's will have possession as they can take the lead with the basket. Knox and bounce to Douglas. The question here is when will we see Lorenzo Edwards back into the game still on the bench with those four fouls? Brown drives and he drops the foul on Malik Curry. That's ODU's sixth foul. So the next one will put St. Joseph's in the bonus. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time for St. Joseph's in this possession. Brown. Inbounded deep on the arc to Funk. Funk 
over to Brown. Brown finds more. There's a double team, but they find not. She takes a three. Air ball. And that will just go out of bounds. Marquise Godden will inbound to Malik Curry. Lee Curry struggling offensively, only one for four, but he's in now and seems to be running the offense. He has it up top and he crosses over. Oh, Hunter finishes with the left hand. As soon as I say he was struggling offensively, he does that. Lee Curry with a nasty crossover, goes up with the right, goes under with the left, reverse with the left hand. Nice finish by Lee Curry. Douglas has it up top now. St. Joe is trailing by three. Douglas nowhere to go. This double team finds more up top. But Udon from Knox, no good. And now Marquise Godden will bring it up. Marquise Godden finds Green in the corner. Green looking to go inside to Joe Reese, who is checked into the game, but that is stolen. Come on, D, keep it up. Let's go. Joe Reese. Starting more up top, and now it's John, John Curry. He goes up, but it's no good. Moore will head to the line, and now both teams in the bonus for the rest of the way. A lot of time left, 8.40 to go. Continue to trail by three, 54, 51, 840 left to go here in the second half. Jalen Hunter checks back in for Malik Curry and Jason Wade checks back in for Marquise Goss. Second deep there for Moore. That one's up and good. Lead is now cut to two. Jason Wade will inbound to Jalen Hunter. Hunter. Five points tonight on two of four shooting. Hunter has it up top, crosses over. His pull up jumper inside the line. That was good, Jalen Hunter. Nice little cross over move, frees up space, comes up and nails the jumper. Leads up to four. Clutching the eight minute mark to go in the second half. Moore has it at the free throw line. He finds Daly up top and gets it back over to Moore. Moore is trying to drive on Carter, nearly loses it, but is able to get it back. Daly takes the three. That one's no good. Avery Green with the tough rebound. Xavier Green, a little euro step, floating up and good. And it looks like Dennis Ashley is getting ready to check back into the game for St. Joseph's. Hasn't played much so far today, but with some players in foul trouble. And there's Lorenzo Edwards up off the bench with the four fouls. Three-pointer by Knox is up and good. Lead is now three. Keep the lead, Monarchs, let's go! Jalen Hunter finds Green in the corner, gets back up top to Reese. Reese over to Wade. Wade back up to Hunter. Hunter tries to drive in, but he'll just back it out. Jason Wade has it returned to the shot clock. He drives up and one. This play finishing with the right. With 7.09 left to go in this game, the Windsor Edwards will check back in with those four fouls. We'll see how long he can stay in this game. Taylor Funk with the foul. 19 foul, that means ID will be in the double bonus on the next one for the rest of the way. We have a good one here in Tri-Way Arena, ODU holding on to a five-point lead with seven minutes left to go here. Xavier Green is now the leading scorer for the Monarchs as he is up to 14 points on just five of 13 shooting, but two for three from behind the arc. 
Lorenzo Edwards continues to lead the way. Still the only owl in double figures, even after sitting on the bench for much of the second half. He continues to sit at 20, 7 for 10 from behind or from the field, but 6 for 7 from behind the arc. This is definitely crunch time for the Monarchs. RDU continues to win the rebound battle, 43-37. They have those 14 offensive boards. Seven of them by way of Aaron Carver, who's up to 17 rebounds. He's two points away from a double-double, sitting at eight points. You know, we talked earlier about who we thought was going to break out. And when you look at players who have broken out and different ways. Obviously, Aaron Carter, the veteran, he's been here a while. We've known that he's capable of, but what he's been able to do tonight, 17 rebounds, seven of them on the offensive board, helping us get these second chance opportunities. That's the name you want to have circled in the box score. You may not look at the points, but you definitely look at what he's done. Along with a block to go along with those 17 boards. Xavier Green offset two rebounds away from a double-double as he's sitting at eight currently with his 14 points. Speaking of Xavier Green, he's the only Monarch in double digits. Aside from Marquise Godwin. Uh, how many does he have? He has 12 points, uh, four threes. Good, good. He's four for 14 from the field, but four for seven from behind the arc, so. Might have cooled off a little since the first half, but gotta keep on shooting. Yeah, Jason Wade can convert this and one. Free throw up and good. Monarchs are now 12 for 20 from the free throw line. Just over 58%. Ryan Day is going to drive. Three Monarchs. That one is slotted away. Looks like Joe Reese got a piece of that one. between St. Joseph's coaching staff and the ref. Daly's going to drive now. Picks it back out to... There he is, Lorenzo Edwards. Immediately hits a three following checking into the game. He could be a problem for the Monarchs down the stretch as the lead is now only three. Jalen Hunter, a little pull up. That is good. Daly has it in the corner. There's the screen by Edwards. They're trying to free him up on that corner. Edwards guarded by Wade gets it back to Daly. There it is. They're really trying to get that double team to free up Edwards, but Jason Wade gets down coming back to the shooter. But now more an open look in the opposite corner, and he nails it. Back to back threes for St. Joseph. Cuts the lead to two. Under six to go here in the second half. Jalen Hunter. Finds Jason Wade. Jason Wade up top gets it over to Xavier Green. Green going to drive. Spins away from it. Goes up. Nearly converts the layup, but he will head to the line. That 10th foul puts ODU on the double bonus for the final 542. Are you surprised at all that Kalu and Bajor haven't checked back in yet? Um, yeah. Uh, you know, Coach Jones likes that big lineup, but they're rolling with Joe Reese and Aaron Carter, and they're trying to play small to guard the perimeter. Xavier Green hits the first free throw. Blue is sitting on the bench with four fouls now, so maybe that's why we haven't seen him yet. But Dickens, haven't seen much of him all game. 
I don't know if we've seen him at all in the second half. Second free throw by Green, no good, but Joe Reese will get hit with an over the back foul. Trying to go for the rebound. That foul will send Lorenzo Edwards to the line for the one and one. Maybe we can only shoot from three. He can play from the three. Hasn't gone there yet today. Marquise Goddard in for Joe Reese. So Eddie is going small. by Edwards. No good. All you have to do is get him inside the line and he'll miss. Jalen Hunter has it for ODU. Up top. He looks to drive. Loses the ball and here comes Edwards on the fast break. Gets it over to Douglas. Nice transition defense from ODU. So they're able to get back. Edwards wanted the three. Takes a step inside the line. That is no good. Rebound Aaron Carver. Jalen Hunter now. Up top finds Marquise Godwin. He gets it back up to Jason Wade. He swings it over to Xavier Green. Bounce pass up top to Jalen Hunter. 13 on the shot clock. Nice cross over by Jalen Hunter. Pull up shot. Bounces off the back. Off the top of the backboard, but falls no good. Rebound called in by St. Joseph's and Michael. And Douglas will bring it back up. Knox finds. Daly, who just basically gets wrapped up by Jason Wade. That'll send Daly to the line. We'll see Malik Curry check back in. He will take the spot of Jalen Hunter. Three-point lead for ODU. Took a swim following the one and one attempt by Ryan Daly. It's one for two for the Lions up and good. Second half of the one and one free throw is good. Lead is now one, 63, 64. Under five minutes left to go here. Ollie Curry will bring it up. He gets the inbound from Marquise Godwin. Curry has it up top, gets it back over to Godwin. Godwin bounce pass to Jason Wade. He finds Xavier Green on the block. Green guarded by Cameron Brown. Gets it in the corner to Marquise Godwin. ODU continuing to work on the perimeter as Xavier Green has it up top. He's working on Brown. Pull up jumper inside the arc. Oh, good off the glass. Rebound tipped. No good by Aaron Carver. And that'll go out of bounds. St. Joseph's ball. They can take the lead again as they only trail by one here. 419 to go. He finds more. Moore back up top to Daly. He tries to drive, but instead steps back out. St. Joseph working along the perimeter. 10 on the shot clock for Daly. He's going to drive. Nearly loses it and does. But I think Daly might have gotten hit with the foul on Lily Curry. Amir Moore now the second owl in double figures, but as we will take an extended break, as well as the timeout, we'll be back with you. ODU up by one with 419 left to go. My name is Zach. I'm a junior studying business administration from Warrington, Virginia, and we're out and about in Norfolk showing you the Hampton Roads area. Right now, we're in front of the Chrysler Museum of Arts. Believe me, there's plenty of things to do here in Norfolk and in the Hampton Roads area. Oh, absolutely. In my free time, I like to go out and check out the Hoffler Creek Wildlife Park and take a hike, or maybe go to the boardwalk down at Virginia Beach, and go down to the Ghent area and check out the movie at the Narrow. Or you can go see a concert at the Norva. 
But for me, I like to go shopping, so I'll visit the various malls, maybe MacArthur or Granby Street. And on a beautiful day like today, I like to go out and check out the Norfolk Zoo because all the students get in for free. Or maybe head out to Bush Gardens in the Colonial Williamsburg area. Yeah, I like Jamestown, Yorktown. So we hope to see you around. Thank you for stopping by. I need a place that gets me. Where I come from. Where I'm heading. To put my experience into action. Turn my skills into enterprise. Innovate. To learn on my terms. To develop my own passions. Encouraged by my faculty. Supported by my campus. Make a difference in the world. Create my own traditions. Old Dominion University. Your future success begins here. Back here, coming down to the wire. ODU up by one, 64-63. Malik Curry at the line. He will shoot two. Malik Curry. Two for two from the free throw line so far. Hopefully he can double that one up. First free throw, up and no good. Right, it, let's go. Malik Curry's second free throw on its way. That one's good. How do you back up by two? 65 63, under four to go here at Chartway Arena. Daily spin move on Jason Wade. Nice job. Looks it up and in. He ties the game up at 65. Malik Curry now has. He's trying to drive baseline. Goes up with the left hand and finishes. Back and forth we go here at Chartway Arena. ODU on top, 67-65. Bailey draws a double team, gets it over to Brown. Brown takes it three. That is a no good air ball. Marquis Godwin will end down it to Malik Curry. Curry up top to Green. Not about the three, but thanks back down. He got it by Lorenzo Edwards. Edwards able to tip the pass, but inside. It's all cleaned up. It's sitting outside the Marquis Godwin who hits a three. Nice adjustment there by ODU. St. Joseph nearly got the steal, but we were able to get it, pick it out to the wide open Marquis Godwin, and he finished it off. Five point lead now for ODU. Brian Daly has it up top, thought about the three, gets it over to Knox. That is no good. Marquis Godwin goes up, gets the rebound, draws the foul. Cameron Brown hit with the fall, foul. Waiting for the free throws. First free throw from Archie Scott, it was good. Are the up by six now? See if they can match their largest lead of the game with the second free throw. It's up, and it's good. Two and a half to go here, are you up by seven, 72-65. Daly brings it up for St. Joseph's. Up top to Funk, who gets it back to Daly. Daly finds Edwards. He's been a hot hand. See what he can do. They wait for Edwards to go, so he has to dump it off to Funk, who gets it to Daly in the corner. Daly's going to drive, and he draws the foul. Looks like that might be on Jason Wade. 
out of Sin Bailey to the free throw line. Where he is three for four tonight. Transition, but then he is fouled. He will go to the line. ODU has done a really nice job closing this game out. There's been it's been kind of back and forth with teams going on each run. It's being close, but we're approaching two minutes left to go here, and ODU can not, can ex make it its large lead of the night with the free throw. First one is up. And good. Eight point lead now for Monarchs. That's the largest of the night. Funk comes back in for St. Joseph's. He takes the spot of Knox. Lee Curry, second free throw. That one's no good. Rebound hauled in by Daly. He'll bring it up himself. Ryan Daly. Thank you for tonight. Nice spin move up, no good, but he's able to draw the foul. Jason Wade gets his fourth foul of the night. Back into the game as Ryan Bailey misses his first free throw. Azikpe takes the spot of Aaron Carver, so Azikpe for Wade with four fouls each. Under two to go here. Second free throw for Bailey, that one's good. And Miles Douglas will check back in. He takes the spot of Lorenzo Edwards. Marquise Godwin trying to inbound. So far press up here for St. Joseph's, but Azeke gets it over to Malik Curry. And ODU, beautiful job there fighting the full court press as Malik Curry is able to come in for a layup. And ODU now up by nine with 1.45 to go. Moore goes up for a layup, and that is blocked by a combination of Kulu Azikpe and Malik Curry. Xavier Dean has it now, and they will foul him. Crowd trying to get on their feet. They can feel the first win as ODU is up by nine with only a minute and a half to go here. Lorenzo oh, Edwards will come back into the game as Sadiq Knox fouls out. Xavier Green, a chance to extend the Monarchs' lead to double digits. <laughs> Xavier Green at the line. Xavier Green will have two shots. First free throw. Up on its way. Battles around the win and drops in. ODU opens up a 10 point lead now. Biggest lead of the night for the Monarchs. Double digits. Second free throw up and good. Xavier Green getting it done at the line. Ryan Daly drives. His layup is no good. Rebound batted around and Matthew Scott will have it. Go away. Yeah. Jason Wade has it up top as we are 70 seconds away from this one being final. 
Monarchs just running out the shot clock as Jason Wade and Xavier Green are playing catch with each other. Malik Curry drives baseline four in a shot clock now. Xavier Green takes a three. That one's no good. But ODU able to haul in an offensive rebound and Jason Wade will head to the line with 55.1 seconds left to go. This is gonna be a big win for ODU against an A-10 school. Nice job to get your first win of the season at home. Jason Wade heading to the line. First free throw, up and good. Free throw, made it, and uh, St. Joseph takes a three, but that one's no good. Xavier Green with the rebound, but they foul him, and they send him to the line. Xavier Green up and good. Second free throw, no good, but OD up by 14 and 40 seconds left to go. Just waiting to run out the clock. Three point in the corner is good by Cameron Brown. St. Joseph's will take a timeout. Thirty-one point three left to go here. That three cuts them on a three to eleven, but thirty with possession and let's see if St. Joseph continues to foul. One point three second differential shot in game clock. Back onto the floor as ODU will oh, end on it. Lee Curry will inbound St. Joseph's with the full cut press. See if they look to foul. Lee Curry able to get the inbound to Marquis Godwin. He is trapped in the corner. They get it over to Kula Zikpe and Zikpe gets it across. Inside, Jason Wade slams it home as they find it back in with a full court press. Monarchs up on top, 69-82, and that pass is stolen. Jason Wade, they will just dribble it out now. said 82-69 ODU picks up their first one of the year and they get to one and one St. Joseph's will fall to one and one as well and when you take a look at the box score Xavier Green finished with 18 he was able to get six of those from the free throw line Marquis Godin finished with 17 um, 15 of those coming from behind the arc on five of eight shooting and then Malik Curry then Next Monarch in double figures with 12 points, four from the line, four for seven from the field, and finally Jason Wade in double digits. So nice really even scoring spread. They only shot 39% from the field, 26 for 66, 8 for 17 from behind the line for a nice 47%. But they took 34 free throw attempts, able to make 22 of them, which only 64.7%, but compared to the 19 free throw attempts from St. Joseph's. That was the difference maker year. Who else rebounded? OD, uh, rebounded. 
Now we're 53 to 43, 16 on the offensive end. And Aaron Carter able to get 20 rebounds, two points shy from the double-double, but 12 on the defensive end, eight on the offensive end. But this is a good, good game for you. Nice even scoring spread, physical defense, and big win. So they'll look to keep this momentum as they continue this season. And I'm excited for it. Um, I'm glad, glad we're back here at Chiaway Arena. Um, but with that, we will see you again next time. But for WOD Sports, I'm Grace McKinney. Alongside me is Noah Fort. Have a good night.